What's up guys, Van Zeeman here, and today is going to be episode 16.1 of Java 2D Game Engine Development, where I teach you guys about how to do multiplayer support in your game. Um, this, today's, this episode right now is going to be a little bit about, uh, we're going to be talking about the different types of protocols that we need and such stuff like that, but firstly, I want to tell you that if you do not want multiplayer support in your game, do not worry. Um, all this kind of stuff that we're going to be talking about, apart from this episode, episode 16, and all its subset episodes, 16.1, 16.2, etc., etc., um, it, I'm going to include an extra portion at the end of the episode where I show you how to how to take what we've done in that episode and do some do multiplayer to it and apply the multiplayer to that ep part. So if you don't want multiplayer, don't worry, just don't watch that part of the episode. And you don't have to watch this episode either, but it's it's good stuff to know if you really do want to uh, watch it. So uh, let's get it right into it. We need to understand some things before we actually start jumping right into the coding. So let's take a step back and and think about it. So there's two different main types of protocols that we can use for sending and receiving data to our game. Uh, one's called TCP, while the other's called UDP. Now both of them are built on top of the IP protocol, which you do not need to know about, so don't worry about that if you don't know what it is. Uh, all you need to know is that UDP behaves very, very uh, low level. There's not much, there's a lot to it, but like UDP doesn't do very much, but you need to program a lot to make it work. So it's very, very complex. Whereas TCP, it abstracts almost everything, and it's pretty much like you're reading and writing to like a file, essentially. And you don't see anything about packets, and you don't see any of that sort of junk below it. Um, it's very, 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 not high level, but it's very, very um, abstract. So, yeah. But the main reason that we're not going to be using TCP for our game, um, apart from the fact that we want to learn and we actually want to understand what's happening, um, is the fact that with TCP, when a packet is lost, okay, so that's the main deciding factor with each of these protocols, is what, what happens when a packet is lost. So if we send a packet and it's not received to the server, for example, from the client. Um, now with TCP, what's going to happen is uh, the TCP client will send the packet to the server. The server will be like, hey, I didn't get that. Where is the packet? And it's going to queue all additional packets that it receives until it receives that packet again. So the client's then going to have to resend the packet, and whenever that packet is received, all the packets that are queued are going to execute as quickly as possible, and then it's going to get clumped up, and then the, the, the client's experience is just going to be very, very poor. Um, so that's not something that we really want to implement here. Whereas with UDP, when a packet's lost, it just forgets about it and continues on its stay, and the most recent data is always going to be um, received from UDP, which is what we want. Um, so that's why you're going to be using UDP over TCP. Um, now one thing that you guys might think is, well, hey, what about stuff like commands or like, like uh, chat? We want that stuff to kind of execute like that, where it'll queue the data and then it'll send it after. And you are correct in this. You do want to be concerning chat in a very um, structured way, and you do want chat to be one after the other after the other, because otherwise it just get very, very confusing if a packet's lost. But what we're going to do, essentially, is you cannot use TCP and UDP, because there's a way, there's something with TCP where it induces packet loss with the UDP packets, which is not a very good thing at all. So for the stuff that we would be using TCP for, like chat or like commands or stuff like that, um, we're going to implement our own little specific pieces of TCP where it does do that kind of stuff and keeps it reliable like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'll link a paper in the description about where you can read about why TCP in, uh, induces packet loss in UDP. But I'm not going to explain that because that's a very long article and it's a lot to sum up and you can just read it yourself if you're interested in it. So that's all the kind of mumbo jumbo you're going to need to know for our actual game. I'm going to end the episode here so that these don't get too long, and I will start the episode where we do a basic ping pong functionality. So this client will say ping to the server, and when the server receives that ping, it'll send pong back to say, hey, I've, I know you're there. And that's essentially what we're going to do next episode, so look forward to that. It should be up uh, immediately after this one. So I will see you then.